Hey everybody, and it's another video for the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking pinball. Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about a pinball game. Let me call it up here. Called Pinball Arcade. This game is literally available on every gaming platform known to man. <laughs> I kid you not. Um, Android, iOS, um, Apple, PC, Xbox 360, uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, several of the portable gaming systems, etc., uh, etc. Et it's called Pinball Arcade, and it's put out by Farsight Studios. Now, these folks over the last couple of years have made it their mission to recreate in the virtual old classic pinball tables from all different eras. Um, and you're like, pinball? But what? Who cares? Well, I kind of developed the soft spot for pinball uh, again a few years back, be primarily for two reasons. One, because of this app that you know, we're talking about today. And also because around that same time, I had come to the realization that there was more to pinball than I realized when I was a kid. I, you know, it seemed to me like it was a game of chance, that it was, um, you know, you put your, your quarters in and, you know, your games were over too quick. So I always gravitated towards the video games myself. I didn't really get super involved in, in the pinball until much later in my adult life. Um, when I came to realize that there were all these sort of mini objectives on a table and that uh, by you know hitting certain things so many times you would unlock other things and that there was a bit more complexity to it than I realized and this documentary I came across called um, Special When Lit uh, really well done if you're a fan of documentaries you owe it to yourself to check it out um, and if you're remotely interested in pinball and the history of pinball you definitely want to check it out like for example did you know that pinball was outlawed in the country I think for 30 50 years something like that for a very long time um, here we'll take a quick look at the documentary give you a little feel for it and uh, again highly recommend it's called special when lit and you can get it on just about all of the streaming channels right now, Netflix, Hulu, etc., etc. Offered whatever expert testimony I could, as well as a demonstration of pinball being a game of skill, as opposed to a game of chance. Suddenly, you could find uh, pinball machines, legally. rock and roll in the 70s. Business was booming. Profit margins were huge. Unbelievable. Demand was sky high. Distributors were ordering it by the truckload. When we started solid state electronics and pinball machines, we were on the leading edge of technology. I mean, it was an incredible cross-section. So, time you know, once I came to realize that, I, I deep-dived a little further into, um, you know, Pinball Arcade. And so for what you don't know, you can get the main core app for free, uh, no matter what system you're looking at. Um, and for free, you can play Arabian Nights, which is considered Tales of Arabian Nights of Tales of the Arabian Nights by Williams is considered a classic, classic table. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's a great beginner's table because it's got a lot of um, um, easy things to do. And as you get better at your ball control, um, there are more advanced things to do on the table. And it's completely free. If you like the game and you're enjoying yourself, you can go in there and sample um, other games in the library and if you don't want to buy them you can play them for free but it's one of those things of um, you're supporting a good cause they're basically these tables will not be around forever folks really um, you know there's a it, it, there's something really satisfying about being able to walk up to a physical pinball table and play and control the ball and that's kind of what's the neat thing 
about this is not only are they recreating these tables and they release a couple, you know a new table or two every month uh, for about three to five dollars depending on the table and what licensing costs are um, so they're constantly updating it with new content and an individual table can keep you busy for many many hours but what I really like is if you really are interested in becoming a better pinball player and learning the rule set on the tables understanding what the different objectives are um, you can do that in the app there's a whole sort of instruction set which will the camera will take you in and guide you and show you hey here's what you you know here's here are the objectives here's how you would achieve the objectives here's where the shot is on the table making it really really easy for you to kind of learn that and the trick is is uh, we have a wonderful uh, classic arcade pinball uh, arcade here uh, in New England um, over here in, in New Hampshire called Pinball Wizard and they have I think they're close to a hundred classic pinball tables and yes a real-world pinball table is a lot harder and there's a lot more skill involved and I highly encourage you to you know if you have a place like that near you go support it check it out um, but it is nice to be able to kind of learn the rule sets for a minimal cost, you know, five bucks to get in on the table and own it and be able to play it whenever you like. Um, you know, yeah, the physics you'll have to translate and get used to. But again, you'll, you know, I when I had been playing Arabian Nights for months on my tablet um, before I ever physically touched one, and I was able to play a fairly decent game and have some fun and know what I was doing when I walked up to that physical table. So. Um, I don't know why there's something really satisfying about pinball, the sounds, the strategy, the, it combines, you know, sort of, you know, uh, a, a strategy of chess, understanding what the rule sets are, what shots are worth your time, which ones aren't, being able to control the ball, to pass the ball from flipper to flipper. Um, there is a skill to it, and it's never the same game twi twice, and I love video gaming, and you folks who watch the channel know that I like all sorts of stuff. The reason pinball always appeals is you can be the best pinball player and still that table that you know you've mastered still have a kick your butt one day just because you're off or it's having a better day than you or whatever the case may be. But pinball is highly satisfying. Um, it, it's, um, it's kind of making a comeback. Uh, that documentary ends on a little bit of a down note that pinball's dying. And, you know, over the last couple of years, there's been a resurgence in an interest and more pinball tables are being made again, etc. So um, check it out. It's like I said, it's for free. Um, well worth um, the time to look at it, see if it's worth your while on whatever your preferred gaming device is. Most of the game footage you've been seeing here during this has been from the uh, PC version. And... Um, yeah, it's just highly, highly recommended. Well worth your time. And uh, if you're an older gamer, well, I mean, honestly, you, you're doing yourself a disservice if you're not uh, checking it out and giving it a try. So there you go. I think it's going to wrap it up for this week's video. Uh, thanks for checking it out, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey there, Adam here. You may notice I do not run any ads on my content. That's right. Uh, my content is supported through viewer donations uh, through Patreon. Click that logo and it'll take you to the page, give you more information about that.